Real quick video in here on how I fixed my uh, Excelsior Henderson fuel pump. Uh, I just put it back together. Um, so just, I think most of you are familiar with how these things come apart. But basically you pull these two circlips off. There's one missing here, which has to be put back on. This head pulls off. This is actually the pressure regulator. And uh, once you get that off, this whole unit should slide right out of here. And the filter, you have to kind of work that off with a screwdriver. You walk around the edges of it, and you can get the, the filter off of it. And this one was completely seized up. It was full of water and rusted, and no matter what I did with it, I couldn't get it to move at all. And I saw a video on YouTube where a guy took it apart like this, and what he did is he took a hammer like this, which has got lead shot in it, and a plastic end. And uh, just kept tapping on the end, filled it up with... Um, um, liquid wrench or you know penetrating oil and left it sit overnight and uh, I did that it still didn't work but then I tapped it on the end a couple times and it moved a little so then I kept playing with it and kept tapping on it and reversing the pol polarity on these two wires here uh, just kept switching it back and forth tapping on it and all of a sudden this thing took off and as soon as they take off you can tell <laughs> So I ran some penetrating oil through it, and it really cleaned up really well. So this one here has been salvaged. Uh, I did order another pump like this. You can get them for 12 bucks on eBay. And uh, they're pretty much the same as this, except the outlet's a little different. I would have had to made a, li a little bit of a brass adapter to go between these two parts right here, the plastic part and this. Uh, but other than that, you can buy these pumps fairly cheap. And uh, you just have to kind of tweak them in there. But I got this one working. And I think pretty much all of them that are seized up like this, if you work on them long enough, you can get them unseized. You just have to be persistent. And uh, you got to be careful you don't hit on the side of it very hard. You can tap up here. You don't want to tip, hit on this inlet because you'll mushroom the end of that. But if you tap on this end right here, and if you tap on the end of here after you get the filter off, uh, don't pound on the side too hard because this uses ceramic magnets and you can fracture the magnets, which is going to render the pump unusable. So anyway, uh, this was a success story. And uh, if I run into any other ones like this, we'll give that a shot and see if it works.